When you have a problem with Active Directory not loading properly, then we can restore it using Windows Server Backup, provided we have a good backup. But first we need to set up how we're going to start up the computer because you can't restore in regular standard mode. So we have to run msconfig, which opens up the system configuration utility. Then we need to go into the boot tab and click on safe boot and choose active directory repair. So that way we can do a restore. Without it, it's just not possible. Now you also want to make sure that you know how to get back to the same point so you can put things back to normal by clicking on the general tab or unchecking the safe boot mode and then clicking the normal startup. Otherwise it will keep booting into this alternate boot option. So we'll click OK and then restart and it will automatically restart in this mode. Now if you don't have the ability to boot into Windows, then you can boot off of a DVD that will allow you to restore from backup. After it restarts, it will be in this special Active Directory recovery mode and then we'll be able to use our backup to go ahead and restore the data. And then Active Directory should start working again. Now keep in mind, this is on a simple one domain controller, domain and forest. If you have multiple domain controllers, then you have the option for authoritative and non-authoritative restores. And you'll need to look up at Microsoft.com how to handle a multi-master domain when doing restoration of Active Directory. Now we're gonna go into Server Manager, go to Tools, and go into the Windows Server Backup. And I've got the backup attached to this particular computer. So it may be attached with USB or some other way, or it could be an internal hard drive as I have it here. I'm going to click on Recover, and I'm going to choose that the data is here locally. And I'm going to choose the backup date, which it chooses for me automatically. Next, I'm going to choose the system state because that's the only thing that's having a problem right now. It's not the entire server itself. I'm going to click Next and choose the original location. This is another reason why you have to boot into this mode. It won't overwrite the Active Directory database if you don't. Now I'm going to choose the system state recover option. But before I do that, I need to go back into MS Config, as I mentioned earlier, and make sure that it's going to boot back into normal startup mode, which now we've set. And I'm going to make sure that it's going to exit without restart because I'm not quite ready to restart. And now I'm going to click on recover. Do I want to continue? Yes, I do. And now it's going on. You can actually watch the progress of the data as it goes along. You have the data transferred, you have the status, and then you have the item as well, which you can expand to see that a little better. Once all this data is done, it's going to automatically reboot because I checked the box to automatically reboot the server to complete the recovery process. And then Active Directory should start working for us. It's restarting. And now I'm logged back into my server after the recovery. The recovery was successful. Now to double check that Active Directory is working, I need to go into Server Manager and go to Tools and Active Directory Users and Computers. When Active Directory is not working, this shows up as a red X where the domain should be. But when it is working, you should be able to see all of your objects. Active Directory Users and Computers has launched. Now I just need to click on it in the taskbar and expand and there are all my objects. So that is how we recover our Active Directory using Windows Server Backup.